Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my Halloween look for you guys and it's this ombre rainbow sugar skull and it was super super fun to do. I love doing like out of the box kind of makeup looks. This was super fun to do. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's jump right on into it. So instead of doing a white face, I'm actually going to do just like a nude face for this one. I got the white cream makeup but it just wouldn't go on properly for me so I am just gonna do the plain normal cover-up color yes One problem with wearing an actual ring, you get makeup on it. Alright, so face cover up parts are now just a little bit of loose powder just to set the cover up a bit. So now I actually have one of the Halloween makeup little black pencils and I'm going to go in and do my nose first. I, I have lost my mirror again. I don't know how this happens. I'll just use the one on the back of my makeup palette, I suppose. Alright, so first I'm going to do the nose. So, skull, nose, done. And I'm just going to draw the circle of where my eyes are going to go and then I'm going to actually fill it in with color instead of just all black. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And it is a little bit light right now and I will go over it and it does kind of look like I'm trying to be a panda. I am not, I promise. The circles are now outlined. So now for the color in the eye circles, I'm actually going to do a mix of like, um, starting from like a pink going into like purples and into like a blue. So I'm going to start with the insides going pink into the purple first. So I am using my BH Cosmetics 88 Shimmer Palette, so it's this one here. Don't mind the mirror, my cat stepped on it and broke it. This palette has been through pretty much everything, but I love it and I definitely need to get a new one. So, the pink color now done, we're going to go into the purple color now. I need to decide what purple I want to use. And I'm not worrying about blending it right at the moment. I'm going to blend it all together a little bit later. Okay, so now we've got the purple in it. It kind of looks a little 
funky right now, but once it's all blended, it'll have that nicer kind of ombre look to it. So now I'm gonna go in with like a really bright blue. And yes, I may look a little bit like Bobo the Clown right now, but I promise it will look good after. So now that the primary colors are there, I'm going to actually go in with a little bit bigger of a brush and I'm going to start blending it towards the outside of my eyes to blend the lighter colors into the darker one. So as you can see, I still have a few of the like sharper lines. So what I'm going to go and do is with just like a tiny eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take the colors and start working them towards into the other colors. So you can see it softens up the sharp line a little bit. So as you can see with this one, it's got more of the ombre instead of the like dedicated where the colors are. And then I am going to go again with just the little poofy brush and just slightly blend it out a bit. And again, the little black lines that are going around, I am going to define them a little bit more. But for right now, they're just going to stay a little bit lighter. blended out. So now the brush that I did do the blending with, I'm just going to go around and make sure there's no excess powder on my cheeks or anything from the colors. Alright, and eye colorfulness now done. So now with just a liquid liner, I'm going to do a little bit of like a spider web on my forehead. Now that the main lines are drawn out, I'm going to do like the little in-between. So just the little lines like that. And I try to make sure that my lines at least kind of sort of connect. Oh, that's kind of in the way. Alright, so web on the forehead, now done. So now I'm going to go over this with the lines just outside of the eyes. And just to darken them up a little bit, I might go in with a little bit of liquid eyeliner just to see, we'll first see how this one goes. And if I want it a little bit darker, I will do a little bit of liquid eyeliner instead. So I think this is actually going to be good. I won't have to go in with liquid eyeliner. Alright, so the thick black lines are now done. So I am going to go in with liquid eyeliner again and do just like a little looking like lace on the outside of the eye lines. But I don't want the little loops to be too big, so I'm just going to do little tiny loops. And it's alright if they don't look even, because no lace actually has perfectly even ones, so... This corner a little bit more difficult because of the eyebrows, but it's still doable. a little bit of like looking like it's lace around your eye and then repeat on other side don't do that what I just did 
I'm gonna go fix my bloop and I will be right, right back. I'm back and I fixed my little bloop. So hopefully this time I don't do that again. lace parts now that's so now some people do leave it just like this I am gonna do like a few little designs just on my chin line here because I didn't do any contouring and I'm gonna go in with two different colored eyeliners this one's a deep purple and this one's a deep blue and I'm just gonna take my little tiny eyeliner brush and just do a few little like designs and stuff just on my cheekbone just to fill in a little bit of negative space I have nice thing with sugar skulls is you can actually be as creative as you want to be once you have the nose and everything done which is really nice because I like being super creative with this kind of stuff sorry I'm trying to find another eyeliner brush I don't actually know where my other one is oh there it is okay cool I don't want to mix up my colors when I'm doing this so that's why I was looking for the second one See, I'm just adding a little bit of detail around each one. So I'm going with more of like a vine kind of look instead of doing like any flowers or anything. I personally don't like doing flowers when I do sugar skulls, so. Okay, so for my one side, I'm done. Now I'm gonna go in and do the other side. And it doesn't 100% have to be super symmetrical either. I actually think sugar skulls look so much better when it's not so I sometimes will do different designs on each I know that most of sugar skulls you actually buy are symmetrical but for me personally I just I like the little bit of a mix-up so I probably am going to do the same on this side I think I need to grab my mirror though mirror So, yeah, gonna start this side now. So yeah, as you can see, I did this one a little bit smaller than I did that one. phone goes off in the middle of a video. Okay, so the initial stuff is done, now I'm just going to go in and decorate it a bit. So for the designs on my sides, I am now complete with that.
So for lips, I've already put my lip chap on. And for lips, I'm going to go in with this pink lip liner. And then I'm also going to use the two eyeliners that I used down there as well to make a little bit more of like a ombre this way kind of lip. With the pink, I will be going over it with another color because it is very light. So now I'm going to grab a bit of a brighter pink and then I'm going to blend it in so that it looks more like an ombre like the eyes do. So I'm going to go in with this color. It does look a little bit dark, but it is a pink instead of a purple, so. And I'm going to bring it just a little bit over the purple line just to try to blend it out a little bit. That one blends those together. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the purple now and blend it into the blue so that it blends more ombre than that. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a really, um, which brush? This one here this angled brush and I'm just gonna do a little bit of cover up just around my lips to make sure that I don't have any lines on my face that I shouldn't have. So now you can see the de absolute defined lines of the lips. So now just to make it a little bit more girly and stuff. I'm going to go in with some just clear glitter and put that just on where my eyeshadow is there and a little bit in between where my little designs are over here. And I am going to do this with a brush just to make it a little bit easier so that I don't have like my finger marks or finger streaks or anything in my eyes. So as you can see, just a little bit of sparkle to it. So there, so just a little bit of glitter to make it just a little bit more girly-ish. Okay, so around the eyes, now done. Now I'm just going to do a little bit around the little doodads on my face. Side, it's not much, it's just to add a little bit of glitter to your face. So you can see just a few little glitters around on the side of your face. So I saved it till close to the end, but I am gonna put a little bit of mascara on both my top and bottom lashes just so that they stick out, just to make this look a little bit more feminine and so you can see I have eyelashes. I've been very bad at putting my hand in front of my face today. I don't know what it is. Apparently I like doing that today. So top lash is good and normally I would switch to a bottom lash mascara but because there's so much color going on I am going to stick with the big mascara. I was just supposed to say, oops, I got some on my nose. Doesn't really matter. So, mascara. So I'm going to go in and define my bottom lash line a little bit more. 
and I'm just going to put a little bit of eyeliner just on my bottom lash line just to give them a little bit more definition. So as you can see, just a little bit more definition that my bottom lash line is there. So the same on that side. So now I'm just going to go in and do a few touch-ups that I've noticed that have kind of worn away as I'm putting my hands on my face. Great! So my sugar skull look now complete! So guys, that's been my rainbow ombre sugar skull look for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that it kind of inspires a few people if they're not 100% sure what they want it to be for Halloween. I know this is going to be posted on Halloween day, but for next year you might be able to pull off this look. So if you did like it, hit that like button and leave a comment below letting me know if you like this look, if you like me doing this kind of stuff because I can do more of it. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I will put a new video out every single week. So if you want to see those videos, do hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys later.